offense? What do you see from them from a defensive perspective? Uh, I think they're pretty good. Um, like on the depth chart, they're returning a lot of um, starters from last year. So I think they're pretty experienced and getting better. But um, that's pretty much what I've seen on film. Last year, I think they were second in the country in terms of getting interceptions. What is there something about their scheme that is, where they're really aggressive? Uh, yeah, I think they just when, the, um, when their chance comes to make a play, they're going to make it. So we just have to like eliminate the chances of them making the plays and make sure that we're doing it. Are you, we talked a lot about the special teams angle and you returning, and I know people are like they want to protect the number one receiver, but you seem pretty eager to do it. How, how excited are you to get out there and you know, obviously trying to balance, not not put yourself at risk, but. Yeah, um, I think I'm pretty much where I was last time, just ready to do special teams because Coach preaches that it's not a transition phase. It's um, special teams for a reason. Um, so we put the best athletes out there to get the job done, and the guys in front of me block, and hopefully I can get a return the first game. You guys were like top five in the country for most of the year and getting touchdowns when you got in the red zone, and then those last two games really really, really struggled, and that's one of the big reasons why you guys lost. How important is it this year to, you know, when, when you get in the, in the red zone to, to get seven and not three? Uh, it's very important. Coach preaches it all the time. Um, he really says once we get past the 50, we need to score. That's pretty much our red zone. But um, I think definitely we need to increase the scoring chance when we get in the red zone because that's called flipping field position. And they talk about that all the time. And seven points is way better than three. The 50, that's a pretty big red zone. Huh? Yeah, it's, <laughs> hey, when you get down there, that's flipping field position. That means the defense did their job. So then we should um, finish um, on our part. Was that frustrating last year? Was that a big reason why you think against Air Force and Baylor that when you got you moved the ball, but you got down in the red zone and, and you couldn't really get seven? Uh, yeah, I think we just got kind of lack, lackadaisical down there, thinking it was just going to happen. We didn't really go out there and attack it. But uh, I think we've adjusted um, mainly in the spring and then definitely during fall camp. There's so much kind of unknown on this team. And some of the fans, you know, maybe not buying tickets like usual. Do you guys feel like you have more to prove than, than ever before on, on this team? Uh, I think, yeah, we have a lot to prove. Boise is usually um, known to be one of the top winning teams in the conference. And we well, have 10 wins is great, but I don't think we, um, our fans hold us at a higher standard. We haven't did that a couple years. So I definitely think we got some things to do this year, and I think we'll get it done. Are you okay being in that, in that situation where you guys feel like people aren't necessarily going to always come out for game one, that you, you have to win a couple games and stuff like that? Is that okay with you guys? You can, can you live with that and try to you know, prove that, that people should be coming out here? Um, yeah, I think it's always better to um, start down and come up. It's usually harder to face going the other way. But um, I think they'll definitely start coming out once we um, handle business out there. But rather, um, rather they're there to support, we got to um, put on the show for them, even if they're watching at home. You, know, you look at the, the matchup, there's two pretty good quarterbacks here to square off on Saturday. And, and just kind of curious, what, what type of confidence do you have in Brett? And uh, you know, does he kind of put this offense with a given ease, uh, peace of mind, I guess, just knowing he's back there? Uh, yeah, him and uh, Montel do a pretty good job. They're pretty um, much equal. Montel, of course, can run. And then Brett, of course, knows the whole offense. So I think um, we're going to the game confident in both of them that they're going to put the ball where it needs to be and to who needs to get it. So um, Brett, he's definitely like master the offense. So I'm pretty confident with him behind um, Mason and getting the job done. With the other receivers, we've talked so much about those guys, and there's so much unknown, and you know none of us are really going to know what it's going to look like until Saturday. But how has those how, how have those other guys progressed, and what do you expect to see out of those guys? Uh, I think they're going to be ready to play. So a lot of their first times getting in front of the play, play in front of the big crowd, and they've been working since spring. I know working their butt off when I used to watch them. So I definitely think they're prepared. Um, now it's just ready to get the butterflies out, and then they're going to be ready to ball in front of everybody. What's it like kind of being a guy, we, we saw the line for people trying to get your autograph and stuff like that. To have people, you know, so many people be fans of yours and you get so much attention here and be one of the fan favorites. What does that mean to you? Um, I'm just happy that Bronco Nation stands behind each one of the players to support us. And I originally just stood up because my back was hurting sitting in the chair. I didn't really, <laughs> I didn't really try to make a line for him, but um, I'm just happy that they support us and just hope that they keep supporting us throughout this whole season. Is it cool to be in that role, though? I mean, like you said, you, you, you didn't plan it, but obviously people gravitate towards you. Um, yeah, I mean, it's nice to, um, to be able to support the team like that, that everybody comes out here just to support people. And then when the fans stand in line, just to get autographs, because some people don't have fans that do that. And it's just an honor to be out here doing it. What do you think having a healthy Jake Rowe is going to do for the offense, uh, making him a weapon in the passing game? 
uh, I think it's definitely going to um, help us a lot because Jake's pretty much like another receiver, but he can also block. And I think Jake on a safety is like a mismatch. So it's definitely going to help us with him being healthy. And then he actually has great hands. It's a bit random, but your last season at Coffeeville, what was that receiving crew like? I think about you, Onan Moore, I know Juwan Winfrey at Colorado. What's, I mean, all three of you guys could have maybe a pretty big role this year. What, what, what was that team like? And you, you still obviously, I think you're still pretty close with some of those guys. Um, yeah, I'm close with them all the time. We always FaceTime and all that. But um, I think it's just pretty much like anywhere you go, Tom, Tom builds relationships. And we got to spend a couple years together. And JC is really small, so you usually hang out with the same people every day. And I think they're doing pretty good. I hope they have a good season. It's crazy that, that sort of talent on one junior college team at one position, though. I mean, that's pretty, that seems pretty rare. I don't know if you guys felt it was special or what. Uh, yeah, you definitely could feel the difference. Um, then um, you definitely could feel the difference with everybody being able to catch and everybody going, putting up high numbers in one season. Um, we rarely ran the <coughs> ball, so I mean, the ball had to go somewhere. So I noticed you uh, changed your profile picture on Twitter. What, what, what was the meaning behind that? Uh, it's just something I read, and I was like, okay, well, then, um, people, cause, cause constructive criticism is what I like to hear. I don't really like to hear what I'm doing good. So I just read that every day and then know that that's what I have to work on. I was going to say, I, I kind of found that uh, synopsis of, of you, and, and there was some positives, but, you, I mean, is it kind of sort of the thing where you're only as good as your – you know, your biggest weakness or anything? Or? Um, yeah, I mean, that's what you should work on every day. You shouldn't worry about what you did um, good in the day. You should just work on um, what you need to work on. And that pretty much, with all those techniques that I need to work on, is going to help the team. So I think by me doing that every day, I should be successful. successful. Do you feel like you're kind of to the point as a wide receiver where you can all of a sudden kind of focus on like the smaller details where there's probably a while there where you were trying to learn a lot? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's definitely getting easier since now that um, this is going to be my last year playing college football. But I've definitely, um, I definitely see the techniques that I need to work on every day. Coach Keith all points them out because we had a meeting. That's the only thing I asked him about, just point, about, point out the things that I need to work on. And the things that I'm doing good, just let me know that's good, but mainly focus on what I need to work on. Were there any one of those critiques that stuck out to you the most? Um, yeah, definitely probably the um, coming in and out of my breaks and then physical in the run game. Those two stand out the most. Um, and that just comes with like time and working on it. I think there's one that said, I don't know, it's lack of uh, an explosion or agility to make people miss. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that was kind of due to my ankle, but um, yeah, I definitely see what they're talking about because you see like all the big time plays all the time. They're breaking two or three tackles and they're going to score. So, I mean, yeah, the explosion is going to come with um, the weight room here, but I think it's going to be a good one this year. Ready to, boss one's ready to kind of prove those whatever doubters wrong or, or, or those uh, critiques wrong? Um, man, it doesn't really matter proving them wrong. It's just um, just thankful that they're telling me what I'm doing wrong. So I'm going to work on that, and then hopefully I can do better. Thanks, bud. Thanks.